Okay, so <laughs> on Inchigo, I found a fan game for Gravity Falls again, but I'm gonna have to read the disclaimer. This game takes place after the Gra uh, the Gravity Falls show and Book of Bill. If you wish not to be spoiled, turn away now. In this demo, there's blood, violence, swearing, and talks of unhealthy relationship. This is a fan game. No backgrounds or characters are mine. Viewer discretion is advised. Understand. Well, I still haven't read the book of Bill, but I do know the contents. I just haven't had a chance, so I just did a. So, no, so I just looked up, basically. Because I hardly be able to. I hardly have time to read anymore. Or in textbooks and all that, so. I had the curious journey, so I need to write down uh, down about it. So I need to write about it. I end up back in time seeing my grunkles, but they were younger. Then Grunkle Stan, I rather not write or think about it. But then we ended up nowhere, and then we found out uh, found out the tape. Well, kid, you sure know what the, how to write a story. <laughs> okay, Bill. <laughs> so, we'll actually let you out on your um, sentence. Um, hi, uh, hi, Bill. What are you doing here? Just up to my usual shenanigans. You know, keeping an eye on you. Can you, like, not stalk me or Maple? Chill out, kid. I'm just messing with you. Anyways, if you aren't stalking me, why are you here? I'm gonna. I was gonna wish for you and Maple and good night. Uh, it sounds like a stalk is like stalking is more suitable reason because of your character. Oh, haha, ha, Dipper. You and your jokes. You know, I'm a changed man. I know, though, I would say Maple sees that more than me. Yeah, Maple would. Shane Star is my favorite human, after all. Anyway, speaking of her, where is she? She's watching TV downstairs with Grunkle Ford. Ah, good to hear about Sixer. I'm not sure the ty uh, ty uh, I'm not the type of guy to ask such a cheesy questions, but how is he? He's been well. He doesn't spo- uh, Spe uh, he doesn't inspect your back. He doesn't want, probably doesn't want you back. Feel sorry. Good, good. Now, can I stalk him with ease? Stop. <laughs> Phil, are you on there? Bill. Joke, joke. I pinky promise. Psst. Pinky promise. Oh, that reminds me. I'm writing about our journey together. I couldn't tell what you're writing. I couldn't tell what you're writing, we're writing, but your quick storytelling mind, if I help you. I'm writing about why I remember. If you tried to spin anything, I won't let you help me. Fine, fine, I'll stay in my lane. Now start writing slower this time so we can, so the player can understand. <laughs> player? It's nothing. It all started with our winter break, when me and Maple returned to Gravity Falls. It's a, It's already been a day since we came back to the winter break, and I already found so many strange things. It's like nothing changed since we left Gravity Falls in the summer, though. I do miss Waddles. You didn't take Waddles with you? He would be freezing here. He's safer back at home. Yeah, I know, but Waddles. N a knock on the f door grabbed our attention. We both look at the door that opened slowly with Stanford and the on the other side smiling. My question is, how did Stan and Gr uh, Grunkle Stan and, and Stan uh, Grunkle Ford 
get back. Weren't they on the boat? So kids, I, I, I could understand um, the <clears throat> swing over stands a little bit more because it's uh, during the summer. They probably just came back. <laughs> this is winter break. So kids, how are you liking it back here? Well, uh, been a while, huh? Grunkle Ford! Grunkle Ford, it's only been like five months. I suppose my research made it seem like it was longer. Then, uh, then the familiar voice of Grunkle Stan rang out. Alrighty, Poindexter. You missed the you missed the kids. Of course, I missed the kids. It's quite fortunate that they will only be staying here for a week. I would love to show you uh, show you two all I found while you're away. Uh, you and your research. You should really take a break. A break, huh? I suppose it's not a bad idea, actually. That reminds me, kids. Would you like to help me? Fix a clock. It would be a simple, and I'll provide all the necessary tools. Here we go. It's not another one of those otherworldly clocks, is it? No, it's a normal clock. Oh, that's surprising. The last time you had a clock, it almost ate my favorite shirt. <laughs> Quitting time for uh, for seven 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 losers. <laughs> Of course, that would be his favorite shirt. <laughs> I love it. Um, uh, my favorite shirt to wear. Sure hope nothing will happen to it. What? What the? No! Not again! Ford! Gronka Ford. I would be more than happy to help out. Same here! Whoa! Oh, and we're going to, to the lab, your lab? Yes, I've made a, quite a few changes during your absence. I hope you like it. You bet it, I will. Let's go and see it all. Uh, all, it, it all. See all. It all. Have fun, kids. Don't end up going back in time. <laughs> He's like this... <laughs> Stanley, are you psychic? Uh, what did- why did I say that? Mm, whatever. As you can see, the clock isn't thinking, and it displays an incorrect time. Use these tools to fix the clock, and the manual I set- I still have. Huh, you keep- uh, huh, you keep your manuals? You don't? We just kind of use it once and then throw it in the dumpster. <laughs> Maple, you're supposed to keep it just in case. Then what if you don't know what to do when an issue occurs? I don't know. Throw it away. <laughs> but never mind. I discuss. Use a manual to figure out the issue. Okay, I'll, I'll do my best. I have never done this sort of thing before. Uh, don't worry, Dipper. What you do is you get it, get it, take it, uh, clean it out, do all this. I, I, I probably can do it. Without the manual. I'm sure you'd have what it takes to do it. Maple, you'll be helping out too, right? Yes, sir! Perfect. You'll be holding on to the manual. I'll be upstairs to start on the uh, on my morning coffee. Let me know when you're done. All right. Okay. <laughs> Click on Maple. The mail says the most common issue with the clock is a dead battery. Try checking to see if that's the issue by flipping the clock over. Click on bag. Click 
Click on maple when it raining help. Good job, Dipper. Now, take out the batteries and place it with the new ones Ford gave us. Awesome! We're all done! Let's go ahead and uh, talk to Grunkle Ford. Rumble. Huh, what was that? I don't know, an earthquake? It's earthquake, Maple. Wait. Earth uh, quack? It's earthquake. Uh, um. Earth. Quack. Earthquake, Maple. Earthquack is more funnier and makes more sense. Whatever it is, doesn't sound good. I mean, has earthquakes ever been a good sign in Gravity Falls? I don't think so. Quack. We should check it out. We're all done with the clock anyways. Grunkle Ford, Grunkle Ford. We're all done with the clock. Why is it so warm in winter? Maybe Stanley finally turned on the heater. We've been bugging him about it ever since we came back, though where is Grunkle Ford? Has he ever... was he just making co his coffee? Hey kids, are you ready yet? Oh, did we just time travel back to uh, summer vacation? Grunkle Stan! Ready for what? How are you dressed in such a... Uh, how, how are you so dressed in such a short time? Um, oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Or did you forget? There was a pause. I have a great memory. You two must have forgotten. Wait, Grunkle Stan, have you seen Grunkle Ford? He went up here to get some coffee. Huh? Grunkle Ford? <laughs> you know who we're talking about. The sta uh, uh, Grunkle Stan. You know. Yeah, um, your twin brother? Uh, um, haha. <laughs> I don't have a twin bro. What's going on here? Are you trying to prank me? <laughs> we went back in time to the sub for vacation. <laughs> what? How? I don't get sick. Uh, I don't get the sick twisted joke. Yes, we mess around and have some fun with each other, but this is getting too much. Stan, they know. How about we start heading out to the mystery fair? Uh, mystery fair. We got a long day ahead of us. What mystery fair? You know the drunk, uh, the drunk, the grunkle thing was uh, thing I was going to do. Jeez, what is with you kids? Stanley walks to uh, walks to the front door and opens it. Ah, so bright! Well, yeah. Isn't that what summer is like? <laughs> summer? Dipper? What's going on? You guys time traveled before, so... I don't know. Oh yeah, before we go, we go? Dipper, can you find these, those things? I wrote them down for you to look for. Be quick. We'll be leaving soon. Red screwdriver. Okay, uh, Sai, okay. Stan is acting weird. Why won't he just tell us where, it's, where Great Uncle Ford is? Because, um, summer vacation. Um, he's still pretending to be, um, be Ford, basically. Something was going on. Like what? Do you think they had a fight or something? Uh, yeah, they did, but before you were born. Why would you pretend your siblings never existed if you had a fight? I would do that if you broke my heart. Maple, please. Ah, uh, chillax, bro. I was just missing with you. Uh, 
Anyway, we need to look around and find what Stan wants. Shouldn't take too long, I hope. Red screwdriver, um, sunscreen. I pick up the red screwdriver for Stan and cross it off the list. Is it me or are things in the house different? Definitely not just you, I noticed it too. This is weird. I look, I look in the drawers for sunscreen because I was certain I had one somewhere. I found sunscreen and crossed off the sunscreen from the list. We got everything. Let's go back to Stan. Wait, there's one thing I want to get. Huh. But we got everything from the list, did we not? Yes, but if I think... It, if what I think is happening, then the journal should be here. Journal? Are you talking about Grunkle Four's journal? Yes. But why would it be here? I don't know yet. I'm still trying to figure out things, and finding out the journal would help. Oh, there is. <laughs> Ford's fur journal. I remember when you were obsessed with that thing. For a good reason, might I add. Ford's journals are very interesting. Whatever you say. Let's head back to Grunkle Stan so we can. F uh, now that we found the journal. She's <laughs> sleeping. After trying to look for Grunkle Ford and helping Stan get some unnecessary things, we couldn't find him. Despite the harsh cold raining down a few minutes ago, it was now warm and humid. It was supposedly summer again, and we were attending the festival where we had that time scare. Something's going on and I have the suspicion of what uh, what can be happening. I think we bit, went back in time and I want to get to the end of it. End of it with that. And I want to get to the end of it with that time traveler. I don't know if, if that's a duck or a panda, but I want one. Okay. You only get one chance. I throw the ball away, Zoe. Ouch, my eye! Does it look swollen? Dipper. <sighs> hey, Dipper, I got another pig. It looks like Waddles, but so I'm gonna call him Waddles too. What are you do <laughs> doing? <laughs> that is Waddles. <laughs> Why you pull? <laughs> that is Waddles. <laughs> Looking for what time, uh, for that time traveler guy. But didn't he show up last summer? Why would he, he look, be looking for him? The same reason that that's actually Waddles, Maple. There he is. Tool belt. Um. Oh no, I spot, I'm spotted. Assuming self, stealth mode. Oh no, you don't. Oink. Ah. Huh, nice one, Waddles. <laughs> that Waddles 2.0. <laughs> Get the pig off me. Not when you, not until you explain what's going on. Why are we back in summer? I have no idea what you're talking about. Do not lie. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Do not lie. <laughs> Maple's looking scary. No, seriously, I have no idea. Where are you? What? Are you time anomalies that were detached, uh, detected here? Um, maybe. There was a pause. Let's go, Waddles 2.0. Hey, come back here. <laughs> now she's calling Waddles 2.0 again. Phew, I think we lost him. Oh, boy. I need a second to catch my breath. Wait a second, Dipper. There's drawings on the walls. Maybe... Whoever did it was an artist here. Maple handed me uh, handed me some glow sticks and uh, to use as a light source. Glow sticks 
Why did you... Uh, where did you get these? I forgot I had them in the po my pocket. Now onwards. Why would you have glow sticks randomly in your pocket? Mabel ignored my question and began walking into, into the dark cave. It's because it's Mabel. Wait, Mabel, are you sure? We can't just walk into the cave for no reason. Why not? Waddles 2.0 seems interested. It's because it's Waddles. The pig interrupted Mabel with a oink of agreement. And we haven't been here before, so let's explore. Fine, alright. Just hope we don't get eaten by some creature. Hey, Mabel? Do you think we went back in time? Eh, if that guy didn't know, then I don't think so. What if this is much bigger than what uh, than what they know? We have to be back in summer. It would make so much sense. How can it be not? How can it not be? We couldn't find Ford, and Stan seems freaked out that we knew. And at the festival, Wendy said the exact words. And the ball hit her eye exactly like last summer. Maple, I think we went back in time. We need to go home. But this is this. It, it, but this is around the time that Grunkle Ford is behind the portal. Wait, so Waddles two point two point oh is Waddles? Looks exactly like Waddles, right? Yeah, I have two Waddles now. Oink. I don't think that's how it works. We should probably keep a uh, keep this a secret. This might miss with the timeline if we ha if we aren't careful enough. Mouth zipped. Mouth zipped. Ah, oh, waddles! Don't go chewing random things from mystery in mysterious caves. <laughs> waddles. Nom nom nom. <laughs> Guess, whoa, a treasure chest! I haven't seen anything like that this before. Let's see what's inside. <sighs> it's tough to open. Uh, Dipper? Doesn't this drawing look familiar? It almost looks, it's almost like it's... That's the, that's ah oh, Bill Cipher. Yep, that's Bill for ya. Ah, 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 ah! I got the I got the chest open. <laughs> ah, wait, <laughs> I want to see that again. <laughs> it's literally just Bill doing Uno. <laughs> I need to do it again. <laughs> Bill's doing Uno. <laughs> ah! Oh, why is it? It's Bill C a Cypher doing un playing Uno. <laughs> Never mind. Hey. It's my favorite twins. Get me out of here. It's... <clears throat> Dusty, I'm not messing around. <laughs> what do we do? Bird it. I, I don't know. We should leave him in there and walk away. It would be for the best. Pine tree, shooting star, you're not actually going to leave me in here, are you? Wait. What are, uh, what are you doing, Maple? Can you help us, Bill? Help you first. You help me figure out why I'm here. You already defeated me. Are you here to entertain yourselves more? Bill, we're back in time before he even beat you. Bill, you remember what happened this summer? Of course. How can I forget? Now, let me down. I hate being picked up like this. I feel pathetic. He also looks so small. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I need to do that again. Okay. <laughs> she just looks so happy doing that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, I got dirt in my eye. In my eye. No, it should be eye. I got dirt in my eye. I can't get a break, can I? Hey, I thought you could fly. I can. Wait, I can't? Bill, you must have, you must have done this. Say what now? You went back in time so you could try to defeat us this time, didn't you? He, that would be a great idea. If I control time, I can't just roll back time like it's nothing. Only gods that can do that are the baby and... I can't pronounce the name, so add blank. Gasp. There's an, um, blank uh, god? I bet they are so cute. <laughs> you wish. The jerk threw me in the prison disguised as therapy. <laughs> okay, so I... I just can't pronounce the name. Why does it not surprise me that you have an issue with therapy? I do know about the therapy part. So, you just know this this roll back at uh, time roll back to summer? Nothing else? I remember you two, unfortunately, but other than that, nope. No memories of how I got here. And apparently no powers. It's just a walking triangle at this point. He, that's funny. I'm laughing at you. B A V T W. <laughs> okay, as much as I hate you, we need your help. So y you are the only one aware of this uh, time change, other than us. Oh, the irony! First you defeat me, then you're asking me for help. Look here, we got clowns in training. <laughs> Please take this seriously. How about this? I'll help you return back to our time, and you get my memories and powers back. How do you even help? Uh, how do you we even help you get your memories and powers back? Give me a good reason not to punch your eye, especially after everything done. Well, we're both stuck, and we need each other's help. Simple as that. Deal or no deal, pine tree. Oh hey, look! It's uh, look, uh, oh hey, look! It looks like I can still make deals. I wonder if I still have the power to uh, pos a possession. Ha! Uh, no deal. I'll pass. I I I'll pass. Then I can't help you. How about this? Let's make a pinky promise. Huh? A pinky promise? Yeah. When you wrap the pinky with your hands and make its promise. Um, I haven't done anything like that before. If one of us breaks their pinky promise, the pinky gets broken. Ha, <laughs> now that sounds fun. I'm in. That was weird. Alright, let's get out of the cave. I'm tired of being here. It's stuffy. Alright, but, got my eye got, but I got my eye on you. No wrong moves, you're out of here, and, and you're out of here. Any wrong moves and you're out of here. Maple, do you think this is a good idea? Dipper, I understand your concern. Yes, he might have tried taking over the world and tried to kill our family. Now that it sounds bad outright, but look at him. He looks different, maybe he's different. Let's give him a chance. It's like, probably not. <laughs> Other than missing his top hat and his bow, I don't think he looks that different. <sighs> huh, what's wrong, Bill? Walking is hard. I feel like I can barely breathe. I thought you wouldn't have an, an issue with that. Let me remind you that I always floated everywhere and in every dimension except for one, but we won't, don't talk about that. How about Dipper? Can uh, how about Dipper carry you with in his bag? Would that help, Maple? What? I have a I have the journal in there. What if Bill is pretending he can use the journal to destroy us? <sighs> that would be lame. Plus, that'll be lame. I'm right here, you know. If I was trying to get get find a way to destroy you, 
to, I would never be willing to walk. Oh, I got dirt in my eye again. In my eye again. Okay, maybe you're not pretending. Here you go. Stay in there. For now, you'll be safe and sound. Don't talk to me like that. Uh, me that way. Ass. Look, Dipper. There's the light. Great. We're almost. At, we're almost out. Let's go. Uh, back to Gravity Falls with motion sickness. Phew. I'm glad we found our way back to the fair. And a way back home. Bottles. What? How? A oink. As a celebration. What are you talking about? I kind of stole the tape when we ran away from the ball guy. Why didn't you tell m uh, me sooner? I was going to, I swear. It's just that Bill suddenly appeared and I got distracted and I forgot about it. Uh, is that the tape you're talking about? Oh no. The tape. Uh oh. Why was there an inconvenience puddle? Uh, inconvenient puddle there? <laughs> Riding. I picked up the tape. Uh, it's fine. We can use it, right? Let's go back home. The tape zips with electricity. Zaps with electricity. Why is it a time machine that's been developed far into the future wa not water resistant? He there you are. Give me my back, uh, back my device, or else. Or else? Or else this. Ah! The device slowly powers up. Then someone stops powering up. You really need, need a placement. Hold on. Let's try again. <laughs> the device starts charging back up. Or else. Uh... What are you waiting for? Quick, use the device. But this time tape... Not the time to think, Dipper. Just use it. Maple? Yes, we're back! The poor, uh, the poor time traveler is still back there, though. Don't worry, he's got his buds. Oh no, Waddles is back there too. Aww. He says he should still be safe at home. Brr, I feel like I'm about to become a popsicle. Oh yeah. What are you. What are we going to do with Bill? He turned into pop. Actually, turned into popsicle. <laughs> Let's hide him away from the from our uncles until we find a way to get rid of him. Hey, we made a promise, traders. Uh, sounds good though. You should probably go into the shack. It's freezing out here. Uh, freezing cold out here. Shivers agreed. Let's go. Maple and I make our way back to the stair uh, up the stairs and knock on the door uh, pri uh, politely. Instead of a happy welcome, our mood soured as we found someone unexpected to open the door. <gasps> it's it. <laughs> it's young, um, Ford. Who are you? Ha have you come here to steal my eyes? What? Who are you? And why are you in our home? Wait, you have six eyes? Grunkle Ford? Uh, six f <laughs> You have six fingers? Grunkle Ford? Grunkle? Is that a real wor 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 word? Is that a real word? Uh, that doesn't matter. Get out of here. Kids, you're trespassing. Wait, Grunkle Ford, it's us. Maple, look at him. He looks younger. We didn't go forward in time. We went back. We must have, uh, it must have been the puddle. Uh-oh. Are you deaf? Get out of here. Last warning. Stanford, what are you doing? What are these kids doing out here in the freezing cold? Grunkle Stan? Huh? What? Stanley, get those kids out of here. Hey, uh, no way, Joe. Jeez, Ford, you look terrible. 
I could say the same to you. Look at these kids. They're freezing out here. Let them in. You don't understand. Then let's talk inside and bring the kids in. Uh, fine. Annoying as ever. <laughs> Flex st uh, <laughs> stands like I, I have some weird ideas to protect these kids. Go in, kids. Ford, um, Stanford shines a white in everyone's eyes, one by one. Ah, I'm blinded! What are you doing? Sorry, I had to make sure you guys aren't. Ford shook his head and said nothing else. Explain yourself, sexer. Damn it. it it's it, my eyes. Don't call me that. A light bulb goes on in his in my head. An idea comes across my mind. Grunkle Ford, Grunkle Stan, we're from the future. We are your great niece and nephew. Yeah. Wait. Why are you? Why are we telling them? Just listen. We need your help getting back home. Huh? Your sh sh Sherry's um Sherry uh, Sherry's kids. Getting back home in the future. What with the kids uh, sp uh, spitting out nonsense nowadays? We aren't lying. Look. I reached out in into my bag and pulled out Ford's fair journal. I have your journal. What? Give it to uh, give it here. Huh? Interesting. Interesting. Wait here. You're up missing with us, right? No, I swear we aren't. Um, I believe you. If you tell me you're from my, uh, you're, if you tell me my future, eh, I don't think that's a good idea. It does, uh, it really does match my journal. Because it's yours, Grunkle Ford. Can you help us, please? Can you fix the tape? It's not, it's what cause here. We accidentally dropped it in the puddle. Fascinating. Are you telling me this can teleport you across time, future, and past? Um, yes. Are you going to help us, Grunkle Ford? No. I'm uncertain. For I have never seen this attack be like this before. You only did water damage. Uh, you only did water damage, right? Both Maple and I nod with a hum and dropped it. All right. Shouldn't be too hard to fix. Yay! And there was much rejoicing. And after we, if after I fix it, promise me, you tell me what my future is like. E, me too. Hey, me too. <sighs> Stanley too. Are you sure you want to know? Yeah. Have you ever considered it might mess up? I don't know the timeline. Um, that uh, Back to the Future. <laughs> actually, like that didn't actually that actually helped them. At this point, I would feel better knowing rather than waiting. Like, Back to the Future didn't happen for the third timeline. Yeah. It's a deal, then. Give me uh, give me time to fix this. Did you call me over here for emergency? Yes, but... Uh, I agreed to focus, Stanley. I, I need to focus, Stanley. It's not something someone like you would actually understand. Test me. We can talk about this later. Stay here and watch the kids. And don't let them miss with my things. Wait, I... I missed you too. I'm sorry. Eh. There's no need to apologize. It's nice to see my twin uh, after year after years. Hey, wait. Are you twins right? You're twins, right? Yes, we are. That's awesome. Twins from different generations. Two identical. Two um, fraternal. I mean... Yeah. That, um, now that I think about it, I like this uh, na uh, the name Grunkle Stan. More like Colin Man. <laughs> huh? Am I hearing things? 
Phil, shut up. <laughs> Phil's, all, Phil's is main commentary. Or what, Stanford isn't here, and this fake doesn't know who I am yet. Uh, a talking triangle. See? Point proven. His name is Bill. He's been helping us around around here. Please, don't tell my tell your brother about Bill. Bill, huh? Nice to meet you, little guy. I'm Stanley. I know, and can never and never call me little guy again. It's not a pleasure to meet you. They both shook hands. Well, strange uh, shaking uh, strange shaking your hand again. Ah. And what do you mean again? Oh, uh, you know eventually. Let's just say you're quite a trickster and we shook hands in the future. Ah, cool. I would have never expected to meet you in the future since you're in a, you're just a talking triangle. <laughs> I'm more than what you think. I'm... I am, um, but... It, it, okay, I'm more than what you think I am. But here, I'll take it. Better than you punching me out of existence. Ah, <laughs> uh, I like this guy. He's like, wait, what do you mean punching you out of existence? Anyways... <laughs> Where he should hide you before Ford gets back. There are some audible footsteps. Okay, pop in the shovel in the bag. <laughs> yeah, like right now. Looks like the thing. It looks like the uh, this may take some time, kids. Are you able to stay for the night, or f until I fi or till I fix the thing uh, th this up uh, properly? Sure. Okay. And Stanley, come with me. Okay, um, alright then. I have never seen the shack so cluttered. I wonder if there's any journals that Grunkle Ford discontinued. I have to find and read them all. What's the ghost for? A tank of a skeleton of an unfamiliar and unnatural creature. Other than it being Ford's research, there's nothing of interest. So that's what the skull besides Grunkle Stan's couch came from. Whoa! Oh, isn't that the memory gun? Eek! McCucket, uh, McCucket must have left it, his notes here. Um, Dipper, what are you doing? Dipper started ripping out the page apart. Dipper, you want the time why not to go go wackadoodle, right? Why did you do that? I don't know. It, I, it felt I, no, felt like it, it felt right. Okay, um, I'm not gonna be able to read it. There's nothing of interest here. Dipper seems to hesitate to open the book again after ripping a page out. Besides, uh, best to swirl elsewhere. Can we talk? Pretty please. No, I'd rather die. Oh, fourth handwriting and who's that handwriting? It's mine. Why did you guys talk and stick a note? Seems unnecessary. It was a hard time between us. Shooting star, he avoided me like the plague. How do you write? Didn't you not have like a body? I possessed Ford. Ah. <laughs> An old photo. Oh my gosh, is that McGucket? You look so young and happy. We should put the put this back and keep sporing. It's a winter storm raging on and the night falls. There's a careful knock on the door. 
Hey, kids. Where are you? How, how are you doing? It's... We're okay. Maple Home's in agreement. That's good. So my brother said you could sleep in this room. Is that cool? Yeah, actually, in the future, we sleep in here. Oh, haha. Awesome. That shouldn't be an issue, then. <laughs> that's that's going to be a lot more, um, you know... Eerie, because there's nothing there. Uh, let's get, uh, get, okay, um, let me get you some sleeping bags for you to sleep in. Don't want to, you sleeping in on the floor. Wait, before you go, where's Ford? I managed to convince him to go to bed. He should wor work on your time machine tomorrow. Okay. I'll go get you some sleeping bags. Wait here. It's weird seeing Grunkle, uh, Great Grunkle Ford and Gr uh, Grunkle Stan so young. And I can't imagine telling them their future. I mean, we already screwed up the future by uh, ripping up the um, memory gun. I wonder how Grunkle Ford might react to this. Just creating a new future. Let's just hope he doesn't find me. He would probably go nuts if he wasn't, isn't already. Wait a minute, he's been acting so paranoid, Bill. What? What did you do to Grunkle Ford? Hey, no need to ask such questions. You messed up, Ford. I get it. I h harmed a sexer big time. Ink. What? At least I admit it. You're lucky you, you, we are helping you. We can easily just leave you here and return ourselves, uh, retur return ourselves once Ford fixes the machine. Silence filled the air after I said my words. Dipper? That's kind of harsh. You shouldn't do that. W you wouldn't do that, would you? I just sighed in a as a response. Before anything else could be said, there was a knock at the door. It was Stanley. Hey kids, I got your sleeping bags. I made sure not to tell Sixer about Bill. Whoa, what happened here? What are the long faces? It's nothing. Thank you, Grunkle Stan. You're the best. He thanks. I uh, have a good night. Sleep. Uh, good night, sleep. Don't want the bug bed bug bed bug spite. Seriously though, that would suck. Hey kids, get some rest. Tomorrow we return back, and I'll get my memories and powers back. Otherwise, I'll break Maple's pinky. I stared at Bill with disapproval. Good night, you two. Night, Maple. Sweet dreams. <laughs> it's like it's like no, it's like nightmares. <laughs> of all of us, cr all of us crawled into the sleeping bags and began our rest for the night. Bill, despite his long existence, never slept like a human before. He swear his eye, qu uh, quiet his thoughts, and fell asleep. Are you here? Unfortunately, I am here. I, I am for another therapy session. You're simply dreaming and away from the dimension. I only wish to speak with you mindfully about your experience so far. Experience? With the with Matson and Ma uh, Matson and Maple Pines. Ah, them. What? Wait, hold on for a moment. You, you Samuelander, you put me in here to test me, didn't you? That was my intention. Yes. For what? You know, I could very, uh, I could very, li uh, I could very likely take over with your state. That's not possible. I'm sure we both know that you're what you truly want. Why are you doing this? Would it be your go oh, what would you what is your goal to see me squirm weak as a worm? Despite, uh, despite encouragement and patience for you to resolve your crime uh, resolve your crimes, you'll be proven only failure at my trial. You have proven only failure at my trial. It's not possible to simply let you go. You must 
need a guide to help me, girl. Such a drastic decision was necessary, as you have yet to redeem yourself. You know, I just the uh, the stop something. Just put uh, just put uh, put him in the journey the west. Fifty um thing, and he'll be he'll probably be good. <laughs> Sun was gone type. If you wish to change your change your form, you must change to be a good person. Ah, I'm full of nightmare feel, and I'm a being of chaos. Be a good person? That's impossible. I'm supposed to be a villain. How can I change? I know your history and your pain. Unlearn your hurt. Close the wound once and for all. Only when you heal it is when you can change. That's impossible, unthinkable, unconceivable. I'm supposed to be bad. You got the wrong person to do this, pal. I'm a villain. As you may be correct, that a heartful fate has pushed you on uh, onto you. You will now have another chance to choose a different path. Will you stay as you once were and dressed uh, and addressed as a villain? He's taking like a journey to West thing. He's gonna. That'll be actually kind of a good story to have him do it, or it just goes for like a journey to West type thing. Or will you become better for yourself and for the Pines family? It's up to you to decide. Only when you heal is when you can change, huh? What did I need to heal from it again? Ah, oh, that's right. I forgot. Bill wakes up from his dream. The conversation with Axe made him feel indifferent. However, he opened his eye. He was welcomed to Maple's face, which startled him. What the, what the hell? Maple looks at Bill with starry eyes. Is that the Axe god you were talking about? I'm just gonna say Axe. Maple, were you waiting from uh, watching my dream? Well... I couldn't help it. Your body is projecting it, so it was so cool. Anyways, please answer my question. Was that the god you were talking about? That was, That's none of your business. You can't just go sneaking into people's dreams. But don't you do that? Guilty as charged, but that's irrelevant right now. Where's Dipper? I don't know. I found his bed empty and a bag gone. And bag gone when I woke up. Want to bring you along? Then I got distracted by your baby uh, body projecting a uh, projection thing, thingy. Hmm. Let's go find Pine Tree then. I have nothing better to do. Time to research and find Dipper. Maple placed Bill on top of her head, and they both began their search for me. Maple and Bill entered the room and found me at the keypad of a me metal door. There you are. We were wondering where you went. Maple, shh. Don't be loud. I'm trying to enter Ford's lab. Huh? Why? To look for any journals he might have discontinued. Bill chuckled. I knew Ford very, Ford very well. He only wrote his dumb three journals. What? So you've been looking around for nothing? Uh, so I, I've been looking around for nothing? Why didn't you tell me earlier, man? Eh, I didn't feel like ru ruling your mood at that uh, at the time. So, why do you tell me now? To watch the joy on your face disappear. <laughs> Bill, don't be a meanie. Uh, Bill, if you knew Ford... So well, do you know the code to his door? It seems different from the one in our time. Sure, give me a second to look through the, my libraries of memories. 
cool. Well, that's so cool. <gasps> Is. I know, right? I saw it this earlier when he was dreaming. Bill can dream. Apparently. Ah, found the code. That was fast. Usually it would have taken hours to go through my cerebrum. You are lucky, kids. Now tell me what... Oh, tell me what it is already. Sure, it's... Before B Bill could s say the code, there's a loud noise on the other side of the door, surprising the twins and the triangle. A polite ding rang loud enough for them to hear. The elevator to Ford's lab was begin being used and stopped at the current le level with incoming footsteps. Diffper, isn't Grunkle Ford sleeping? Why is the elevator, the elevator moving? Maple, it's great, it's great Uncle Stan. You kids should hide. Why? Just hide, damn it. We quickly ran into another room, bringing Bill with us. Maple and I both watched through the crack of the door, watching the person open the lab door and walk out. <gasps> it's Ford being, um, being possessed by Bill. <laughs> it's just Ford. Why are you acting bonkers? Both, uh, both were silent as they watched the man walk away. I grab Bill and drop him on a nearby table. Bill, you're hiding something, aren't you? You're overthinking Pine Tree. No, 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 uh. Talk to me about this later. We're in a pickle here. Bill, this is a good time to be honest with us. Why are you so worried? Fine, fine. I'll be honest. I don't. I didn't tell you to because I hoped it wasn't true. <sighs> Remember how I said I possessed Ford? Yeah. Um, I've been thinking. You know how both. You know how both now and last summer, you went back in time. There was only one of you guys. Maple and Dipper nod. Naturally, I assume the got the same with myself, but there's been too many singles s signs of otherwise. You don't mean there's another you? Maple and I look at each other with concern, and and it's now uh, now and is now possessing Ford. We look back at the crack of the door, and Ford and saw Ford. Nowhere to be seen. We need to get out of the lab, get to the get the tape, and get out of here. But Dipper, the tape is broken. We can't go. Uh, we could go to another point of time, with no way back. We need to take the risk. If Bill is telling the truth, this other Bill has pr uh, his powers, and could use a time tape for himself. Let's go. Let's go before Grunkle Ford comes back. I'll tell you what else, I need to go get the keypad. You want the code? Ask nicely, and maybe I'll, I'll tell you. Bill? Fine. Party pooper, the code is, lo uh, is long, so listen carefully. So, I'm just gonna write that down real quick before I do anything, because I... Numbers do not go well with me. Okay. One, nine... Two, zero, one, one, four, one, two, five, two, five. There we go. Onwards to the lab. 
I open the metal door. Okay, we're in. Let's find the tape. But what about Grunkle Stan? Do you think we could bring him with us to safely safety? We can't. Besides, one thing I learned about Grunkle Stan last summer is that he could protect himself. I have no doubt he'll be fine. Just fine. Okay. I hope so. We go got into the elevator and start to our descent to Ford's lab. Silence filled the air as we felt the gravity of the situation weigh on us. The elevator stopped in the third level and opened up to an unexpected flesh lab. Maple and I were surprised how different the lab is compared to the lab we knew. We began to look for the ta ta time tape. Then we kept looking, looking until I began to feel a cold sweat in my forehead. Shoot, I can't find it. Did you think it, it, it did you find it yet, Maple? No luck. Where could it be? Do you think it might be somewhere outside the lab? No, he would work here. It should be here. You sound like you've seen a ghost, Pine Tree. Yeah, probably because I'm freaking out. Deep breaths, um, Dipper. Deep breaths. Dipper takes a deep breath and lays his eyes on Bill, who was staring so longly into the dark room. You can help, you know. I rather not. Bill, we helped th you this far. Can't you be nice and help us out? Dipper, you're asking a two-dimensional, international, uh, interdimensional demon to help you out. Huh, you're being delusional. Did you forget that you're powerless? And who's far as that? I'm tackling you. Definitely not mine. <laughs> Dipper, what? The elevator. Oh, crap. <laughs> Hi, Grunkle Ford. At that moment, I didn't believe that Grunkle Ford would be possessed. I could never envision Stan Ford Pines being possessed by Bill Cipher. Whether it's, whether it's because of denial or just doubts, it didn't matter because soon we figured out that Bill was not lying. You're look were you looking for this? <laughs> for a second, I thought your silly kids were spouting nonsense of any regular kid would do, but you were telling the truth. I could tell. This technology is the real deal. This opened so many incredible opportunities. For me, of course. Don't even think about it. That's my way home. Well, isn't that interesting? I can't believe it. Me from the future? Hey, let go- oh, let me go. Weird. So, so weird. This shouldn't be possible. Look at you. You're so pathetic. You're a pathetic cockroach. cockroach. Huh. What happened? No spoilers. You'll figure it out yourself in the future. Not surprised you- uh, don't- not surprised you tell me. Let me guess, you found a way to take over, but you failed. How did you fail? What caused you to become this worthless? Howard died and tell you. T fine then, you kids, if you're- if you're from the future, why don't you tell me the future- my future, since this guy won't tell me. We stay- uh, stayed silent. Or- I could just see for myself. You can't. That tape is broken. Pass Bill gritted his teeth after hearing Maple's response. Ah, uh, whatever. What's a hold up? How did I lose? Tell me my future. Pass Bill stepped closer to be to in intimidate, but they were heavy, fast footsteps, and the first, the fist, the then the fist was planted against Ford's face. Stanley for this win. Yep, Stan. <laughs> what the hell are you doing, Stanford? Leave the kids alone. Bill from the past dropped the tape and let go of Bill. Uh, let go of Bill. 
Oh, oh. You pack a good punch. That felt like it, uh, it riled my brain. Stan? Stan! How about I give you a taste of your own medicine? You good for nothing twin. Kids, take the tape and get out of here. But, Grunkle Stan, it's not safe. Do you not, uh, do you not see what's happening? You're not safe here. You need to get out of here and return back to your time. But Stan, trust me, kids. I got my burr. This isn't any different than a sibling fight to me. Now go. Stanford, or in this case, Bill, pushed Stanley against the machine of the lab during their, during their fight. The poor quacked with electricity. I don't like where this is going. Oh, we're gonna ch it's gonna change. Oh my. Maple grabbed Bill from the floor and I picked up the t time tape. I went on I went on and go to uh, go to use it. Here goes nothing. Please work. No. Snap out of it, Stanford. Let the, co the kids go home. Curse you. You can't St you can't stop getting in my way, can you? So many things were happening. Everything was a bore. Before I knew it, Stanley fell down. Actually hit the portal level. Uncle Stan, no! Oh, Stan's going... Oh, 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 what's happening? This is really bad, really bad. We need to leave now. Ford, we... W why don't you help me? It's because you're still angry at me for absolutely ruining that your stupid project. You're leaving me to die like the for this for that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what I've done. I only wanted to sail on a boat with you, far away from here, far enough where we won't we won't won't have to worry about Dad's expectations, college, or money. Please, Ford, save me. I don't want to die. I'm glad to finally get be rid of you. S see you on our side, Stanley. Damn you! S F Stan Ford! <laughs> Suddenly everything became light. Maple pulled and pressed the time tape to go forward in time and sent us to another time. But we were left stunned by the sight of, of our Grunkle Stan falling into the portal instead of Grunkle Ford. Despite our, uh, inst uh, our uh, instance not to mess up with the timeline, we knew we messed up so badly and we are left with the consequences of our actions. I remember being left wondering what did this mean to Grunkle Stan? Uh, is Grunkle Stan gone? Nothing would prepare me for what happened next. I think I'm going to throw up. Thanks. Uh, th oh, thanks for so much for playing the uh, the demo of Black to the Summer. I absolutely love this. So, <laughs> so if you like my content, please subscribe. I do help a lot and comment down below. See you guys next time.